Alabama won the biggest game of this college football season, although it is still early. That win over number two, Georgia, has propelled Alabama to number one in the AP poll and number two in the coaches poll. We're going to talk about Ryan Williams. What makes this guy so tough to defend? And why is this 17-year-old maybe the rising star of college football? Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Let's talk a little bit of Hollywood right here on the Bama Tailgate Show. Roll Tide, everybody. Well, the dust has settled, and we're all kind of now looking back at that game on Saturday and reveling in what a really tremendous contest it was. Whether you were pulling for Georgia or, like us, pulling for Alabama, or maybe you, you were just a college football fan, you had to enjoy that game. It's what makes college football great. Alabama in the first half dominating, uh, doing it with this new offense, Kalen DeBoer and Nick Sheridan drawing up plays for Jalen Milrow. And then Georgia coming back, Alabama maybe being a little bit too conservative in the second half. Carson Beck showing why he's a Heisman Trophy hopeful, doing his thing, throwing some deep passes, tiring out Alabama's defense, and getting the lead late. And then Ryan Williams making the play of the year. One of the best plays in the history of Alabama football at Bryant-Denny Stadium, uh, making the catch on the sideline, and then the juke move and the spin and into the end zone for a touchdown. I want to play this clip of Ryan Williams talking about that play because it's pretty funny to hear his perspective. But then I want to talk about the historic impact of what this one means. Uh, really one of the all-time great moments uh, for Alabama. Man, whenever I, whenever the ball is in the air, like I, I felt it like going to my back shoulder. So I was like, I got to open up like now. I opened up, I caught it. I'm running, and I was like, oh, I can't get tackled. So I, I did a spin move, and it was in, like, slow motion. It was a little faster on the screen, but like I said, man, the, the juice squad did their part, so I, I had to do mine. And there you go, the juice squad. That's talking about the offensive line. But it's funny when you hear these guys talk. It's like we're watching in real time, and he said, hey, you know, watching it on the big screen it looked like it was really fast. But it's almost like when you're in a car wreck, if you've ever been in one. And it's like right before the collision, you just kind of things just kind of slow down. And for him, he's like it felt like forever as he was spinning past two defenders, those guys running into each other. Uh, the other funny thing that he said uh, was that he told he told uh, uh, Zabion Brown that he was going to make an interception because they were playing the, the uh, college football video game. And uh, like, hey, you're going to make a big play in this game. Uh, and, and, and he had a pick six, you know, on the video game. And then he had the interception at the end of the game. But Ryan Williams is amazing. I mean, th this is historic stuff coming from that Alabama wide receiver. And you put him up there with some of the great freshman wide receivers in Alabama. Uh, in just the last 20 years under Nick Saban has had some great wide receivers. But it, all, it goes all the way back with the Crimson Tide. I mean, you wouldn't have this legacy without guys that could catch the ball and do something with it. But Julio Jones, to me, is at the top of the list. And through four games, you know, I really put what we're seeing from Ryan Williams uh, above what Julio Jones did his first year. Now, you hope that he'll be able to stay healthy, avoid the hits. You know, he's talked about how he's tried to strengthen his legs and his joints just to stay healthy. And, and you know, he's more built like uh, Devontae Smith, the the – Heisman Trophy winning wide receiver. But don't be surprised if Alabama has two players that slide up into that Heisman hopeful mix when it comes to Jayla Milrow and now Ryan Williams. Who would have ever thought, though, that a freshman, and we've talked about it so much, and I know it may be overplayed right now, but a freshman that's supposed to be a senior in high school not only would make the team and play, but would be a true star player and I think that it also reflects on Kalen DeBoer and this coaching staff's ability to get these young players ready to go so I want you to listen to what Kirby Smart said in his post-game press conference the former Alabama defensive coordinator really one of the great Alabama defensive coordinators and some of you probably say maybe he's the best of all time in that position and it's hard to argue that but what he said about trying to defend Jalen Milrow and Ryan Williams and then we're going to kind of chew on that for a second. But really, he gives you an idea of why 
uh, he felt like it wasn't an easy thing to do. I got asked by the game day crew before the thing about what are you going to do special for Ryan Williams? And I said, we can't do anything special for Ryan Williams. They got a guy back there at quarterback that could be the best running back in the country, and he throws the ball. So you can't put two people on Ryan Williams. You can't do it. You, you got to make him make throws. And uh, we, we've known Ryan for a long time. He came to our place on several visits. He's such a great kid. He's uh, extremely fast and elusive. He's got great ball skills. You know, Malachi had really good coverage on him on a double move. He, he got on top of Malachi. And, uh, you know, if I had to do it over again, we would challenge him more and get up on him. We were off a lot. But the play he made was actually in, in press coverage there late. And, you know, that's okay to give that up. That's hard. But we caught that ball on them. But you got to tackle them. You got to get them on the ground, make them snap it again. And, and we had momentum, make them drive it through. But we didn't get him on the ground. And that's, that's the, the biggest fatal flaw of that play. I think the other fatal, fatal flaw of that play – is that Alabama's Ryan Williams is that good. And 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 Kirby's saying, it, hey, we could have pressed him at the line of scrimmage. Oh, wait, we did on the play that won the game for him, right? Maybe we played back and he took advantage of that as well. But this Ryan Williams guy is going to be a real problem if he stays healthy. But you love the fact that Jalen Milrow is forcing defenses, even the best defensive coordinator that Alabama's ever had, one of the best coaches in college football, Kirby Smart, to sit there and scratch his head and go, I, I don't really know what to do. Here's a guy in Milrow that's the best running back maybe in the country. Oh, and he can also throw the ball. And now he's got this freshman that is just really, really special. So a uh, huge win for Alabama. It, I, I wanted to kind of just take a deep breath before we jumped on here. Uh, for this show today and talk about it and, and you know, reflect on what turned out to be uh, a really, really fantastic game for the Crimson Tide. But, hey, guys, show's brought to you by our friends at Pearl River Resort. You know, we love it over there. Uh, go to the uh, Time Out Sports Lounge and Sportsbook, which is at Golden Moon Casino. And if you put $50 down, maybe you're going to bet Alabama to run the table. Maybe to bet Alabama to win it all, which I think finally people are realizing that Alabama has not gone anywhere, which is really an attribute to uh, the national media, what always likes to, to bury Alabama. Hey, still there. Go put your money at the sports book, $50. If you do so, you can play Dancing Rabbit Golf Course. It's the Augusta. You can play just an amazing course for $40. So take advantage of that. And uh, while you're over there, table games and slots, they have a uh, golden – you know, Golden Moon Casino, which is fantastic. Philip M. Steakhouse. You got Mama and Nem's Restaurant. You got a bunch of places to eat. It's like going to Vegas, but it's an hour and a half from Tuscaloosa, two and change from Birmingham. Uh, also, don't forget, they're celebrating 30 years. Gary Allen, the country performer, is going to be there. Scotty McCrary, you know him from American Idol. He's going to be there as well, uh, different times. But, uh, but check it out as we celebrate 30 years at Pearl River Resort. Resort. 